Hey then, welcome on back. As always, I'm Carl with Turkish Attitude. That's my professor knives and all things sharp. Sit on back, grab your pen and paper. Class is about to begin. Today, we're looking at a newer one from CJRB. The Caldera. Yeah, it's the Caldera. It's new for 2022 from CGRB. It's been out a few months, but I just haven't had a chance to get around to viewing it. Very nice looking knife. Very unique blade. But before we get too far into this, let's get the syllabus work out of the way, shall we? If you're new to the channel, welcome. Here on Fridays, we mainly do knife reviews. Occasionally, I'll do a review of a piece of camping or survival equipment, you know compasses, flashlights, cooking gear, that sort of thing, but mainly knives. Then on Mondays, I'll occasionally do a series called Knife Basics, which you really need to know. This covers things that uh, people who are new to the world of knives and knife collecting might not quite understand. Cover things like, what is G10? What is micarta? What is 8CR13MOV? versus ARRPM9. Um, what is a drop point? What is a clip point? All those little fancy terms that if you're not familiar with can leave you going, um, uh, okay, uh, I guess so, when you're talking to a knife vendor. I'll try to help you out with this series so that you don't have to sit there going, I believe you will be able to do for those of you who have been with us for a while, welcome back. I'm glad you can make it back again. Just got one question for you. Have you subscribed yet? Okay, good. Most of you have, so. I'm not going to tell you how to subscribe. If you don't know by now, something's wrong with you. But I hope you do subscribe if you haven't already. In the meantime, let's get back to the knife, shall we? Well, there is a bit of a heavy knife. I mean, it's almost four tenths a pound. It's actually 3.34 pounds, which gives it a good heft. Interesting blade designed, almost a cleaver, but it's got, it's like a cross between a cleaver and a sax almost. Um, definitely hefty. Nice thickness to it. It doesn't say in my notes how thick it is, but it's definitely not going to give you any doubt of it. The black PVD coated blade is made of ARRPM9 steel, which one of the newer powdered steels. So far, it uh, seems to be only being used by Artisan and CJRB, but... Still, very sweet. Or excuse, yeah. Um, seems to be doing really well. They supposedly wanted a steel that had the toughness of D2 with corrosion resistance of 14C28N. And I think they succeeded. The handles are G10. This particular one is a black and blue gray scale handle. If I remember correctly, they also have it in a green and a pure black, but I think this one is just so striking. It does have a lanyard hole, as you can see. The pocket clip is fairly deep, kind of nice, and you can flip it if you want to make it left hand carry but it's only tip up you can't get it for tip down sorry about that mention the lanyard hole nice black g10 spacer in there um all in all very nice feel in the hand very comfortable got a little bit of jumping on the back right where my thumb rests so very sweet Got a thumb hole if you want to open it that way and 
instead of using the extended tang and it works pretty nicely um, may not be able to do a spider flip with it but enough practice it possible you could let's see just how well it does um, let's see here yeah I don't need this piece of paper so start seeing just how sharp it is right out of the box Sure, like that. That is nice. Let's see how it does with cardboard, shall we? Even though it's a little beat up, it still takes it right off without any problem. Let's see here. Like a small piece. And nicely. Very sweet. Yeah. Credit. it. I don't know where it went, but I'm not going to worry about it. Instead, I'll get another piece here. And let's see here. Yeah. It spreads that like nobody's business, doesn't it? Wife's going to be upset with me when she comes back, but I'll get that cleared up. Let's see how it does on this. See if it does all right on hang packaging, which this is a great representative of. Even with that uh, sack style tip, it goes in nicely. Just right around. Not too bad, not great, but then again, I wouldn't expect it to be great on that. Let's see how it is with uh, paracord here, shall we? Very smooth. Just the tip. Yeah, just the tip. Just really. Very sweet. Yeah, can't complain about that, that's for sure. Let's see here, piece of leather. Yeah, we do want leather here. Now if I could hold on to the leather. Yeah. yeah it's cutting it nicely once I get hold of the leather. Can't complain about that at all. I am going to need to get some more leather here soon. Let's see how it does with uh, zip ties. Let's see here. Right through. Let's get it. Another piece of wood out here and see how it does on trapping. I mean, it's just. Getting it right down and out. How is it on the wood? Not too bad. Too bad. Yeah. Feathering that up nicely. And so it doesn't chopping. Gotta avoid that, so let's go over here. Very nicely. 
that's going to do well. I got some pieces in my eyes. Um, so let's see here. We got that, that, that. Wearing harness. I don't think I've got any wearing harness left. I think I took up the rest, rest of it in my last review. Yeah, I don't see any, so can't do that one, unfortunately. It's not going to do any good. No. Oh, wait a minute. Here we go. Almost nothing left of it, but hey. Doesn't need much. And let's see here. Nice. 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 Come on. Quit. There we go. It would have been a lot easier if it was a thinner knife, but hey, it did the trick. Let's see how it does on, uh, yeah. Stripped it beautifully. By the way, that Got a nice finger twirl on it. So that's handy. Did well with that. <coughs> with PVD coating, I very much doubt we're going to be able to get any sparks off of this. But let's see how it does anyway. Um, yeah. No. No. And no. So about the only way I'm going to get sparks is if I go to the uh, cutting edge, and I'm not willing to do that. That's just asking for troubles. Um, here. Don't normally do this, but let's see how this does. Yeah. Punch through a tin can, so you could easily use it for that. And definitely no damage to that tip. Now let's see if it dulled out any when I did all of this stuff. Let's see here. No. Nope. No damage whatsoever. So. Looking for a cleaver type knife. This definitely has some possibilities. Um, yeah. I thought maybe I'd scratch the PV coating, which I was going to be very disappointed in if I had, but no, no damage whatsoever. So there you have it. CJRB Caldera. Minimum advertised price per uh, CJRB is $59.99. Not a bad price. It's just the price is uh, 80 bucks, so. Definitely worth looking for. Definitely unique looking knife. Definitely striking. And not a bad fidget factor either. I can deal with it. Busy with that quite comfortably, don't you? Yeah. I definitely like that, so. But, I've got a bunch of things I need to get done today, so I want to wish you luck. I'll leave you with a couple videos over here I think you'll enjoy. As always, you can always hit that target there to subscribe if you haven't already. I hope you do. In the meantime, I'll wish you luck. And remember, it may be a build that decides what you can do. Maybe your motivation decides what you will do. But it's attitude that decides how well you're going to do it. So if you're going to do something, do it with attitude. See you now. Bye.